Bird offs herself oh, to express her undying gratitude to you. For Stop saying. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. And he was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to. <laughs> Fuck. If I had just known, I'd have. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come? Come down to the precinct and trash it into bits. Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. I'm gonna put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. She smokes some strange boutique brand. That's heavy. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn, who she really was. No, nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, 
Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. But you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess it left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? Well, can't ever rule violence out. You two done bickering over diddly squat. Cause if you are, I'd like to get down to biz. Here's the thing. Literally in moments, security will figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in or get thrown out. And don't get me wrong, Jude. I'd gladly sit and catch up. Been quite a while since we last talked. But you're not safe here at Clouds, especially not with him at your side. 
Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. That went smoothly. She didn't even let me make my point. Probably needs time to think. Couple of days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Forget why we're here? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Punch the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. Really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Second you react with your dick, steady your head, you give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? Doesn't matter. They already flushed one down your brain. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. Hey, V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it, good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello.
Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. Here's the thing. Gonna insist you explain. If we're to pull this off, I need to be sure you're all in. And know why you're all in. You don't know the first thing about Clouds, do you? Hiromi Sato and the other Tiger Claw bosses see and hear everything that goes on there. I didn't get this far by shouting all my plans from the window. By the way, Forrest is doing fine. Don't intend to end him. Not now, not never. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I advise you to remember that. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta do some cardio! That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower, take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum, a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought, a half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. 
but I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him in the street, like while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in the back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? He's probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security, so one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. All right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Oh. Ah. Ah. V, everything okay? V? Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna collect. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Best be going. Suit yourself. I'll hollow you once ah, Michael set up shit. the with Hiromi. Fucking... Not funny! <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. Aitsura. Hey, V! You ready? Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Okay. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. You got it? All right. We going in? Let's do this. to lose the mother, would you? You two, head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? 
in here always have to go to shit. Called entropy. What? Things going to shit. That's what it's called. Uh, I'm getting get sick of this. I'm a soldier, not a fucking handyman. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? We're inside the clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. All right, on the roof. Onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark! Go! I don't. You have shit tons of work. No, don't. Wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. <clears throat> Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. You want a piece of me? They punched the alarm! Not if I got anything to say about it. Theo yeah. tested himself in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you think it was his idea? It's a publicity stunt. Well, then he'll get what's coming to him at the bottom. He'll never get what's coming to him.
someone here is killing tigers. Hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority yet. Why are there three guys? What's she playing? That's our at? target, Hiromi Sato. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the clause. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Judy, I can't focus. With your permission. What's there to focus on? Over my dead body. We were gonna Don't get rid of her. Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Hiromi's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the dolls to fuck one another instead? Well, Michael will make sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose. Unless you tell him with which hand to do it. We have one last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require a stable employee, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V.
Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. You blackmailed the leaders of one of Night City's most powerful gangs. Really think you'd have come out the other end alive if I hadn't been here? Fine. I'll give you double. But that's my final offer. Thanks. Don't mention it. I know what a well-performed service is worth. The hell did you do, V? Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. V? You just stood there and watched her play us? As if that wasn't enough. You took her eddies, too. If I hadn't settled it quietly, Hiromi wouldn't have been the last casualty. How many lives would you be willing to sacrifice for your pipe dream? Bullshit! You're just spewing words now, V. You took her eddies, so the sitch is clear, cut, and dried for me. You're a merc. She's a soulless, conniving bitch, and I'm a sorry-ass gonk. Well then, see ya, Judy.